by Brothers and Sisters in Revenue slash growth. In today's video, we're going to go over how you can build lists of people who are engaging with either the content that you're posting on LinkedIn, that your company is posting on LinkedIn, or who your competitors are uh, engaging with, or who or you can scrape the people that your competitors are posting posts, and then you can scrape the people who of those people who are liking those posts, or people who are posting about certain content. In today's video, you're gonna see how we actually have found this is really easy to set up in Cursor. I won't actually be able to show you the actual workflow because I'm just a little bit afraid of uh, getting my API key doxed, but I'll show you how we have set it up and the, the prompt so that you can get some ideas of how you would run it in Cursor for yourself. I'll also show you the rapid API endpoint that we're using to get this data as well too. And the main use case we have for scraping I mean, scraping your content or your company's content is just, these are people who are starting to get interested in what you do. And it's kind of like shooting fish in a barrel where they haven't raised their hand yet totally to sign up for a demo. But if you reach out to these people, they are far more likely to, to get a demo, especially when you clean them for the normal like industry and uh, title filtering that you would normally do. And then same thing with the people who are engaging with your competitor's content, or if, you run a project management software and then somebody's posting about project management and their post went viral and there's a thousand people who liked it. The only thing I'll preface this with this video with before we get into the, the secret sauce is I highly recommend do, unless you're reaching out to people who have liked your content, do not email them and say, Hey, I saw you liked competitor number one's post. I actually think that that just makes the email look really bad. And then I don't know. It just then also people will do this to me, and I know I've taught to do this in the past, so it just it is what it is. But people will send me screenshots and they'll say, "Hey, this guy is scraping your LinkedIn posts," and then name dropping you and saying, "Hey, I saw you liked Eric Noslaski's post." And so it's like one, my competitors will do that, and I find that to be really annoying. That uh, and I know I teach people how to do it, but I find it to be really annoying that I'm putting this work to create content, and then you're just like taking leads from another bootstrap founder we don't really need the leads so it's okay and i haven't really gone after anybody about it but i find that to be really annoying and also i'm pretty sure people who are receiving these emails are starting to find it kind of annoying but the reason i'm teaching this is because we have a couple of customers that this is absolutely the best list that we can create for them and it works extremely well i just wouldn't say that you found them on linkedin just if there's a thousand people who have liked your competitors post and you whittle it down to 200 just email them and just send the same email you would send if you were to normally reach out to them. Don't say anything about the fact that you scraped them from LinkedIn or any of this other garbage stuff. So anyway, I have a ChatGPT summarization of how we did it because I just don't want to dox my API keys. And you can take this learning and then just ask Cursor to set it up for yourself as well too. So this is the rapid API endpoint that we're using over here to, to get this done. Uh, and I found it to work extremely well. It works really well for me. If you don't want to use Rapid API, uh, you could also use Trigify. Trigify does this social content listening as well too. I don't know how these people are getting the data, so maybe you want to test Trigify versus this Rapid API one. But so basically, you can. I think there's something about posts you can get here. You could get all of a person's post with this endpoint here, and then there's something about company posts. You can get all the company posts here. What I've actually found is we've had people ask us to scrape all of the engagers from a company post and that doesn't really work that well. So then what we'll do is we will then take the company URL, find all of the contacts associated with that company and then get all of their posts. And that works a lot better because company accounts really usually aren't that successful. Uh, and then you might be thinking, well, can I scrape all of the followers of a company page? You Pen, and those services go in and out of business from time to time. We uh, use Scrape LI to get a lot of this work done. But what has to happen is you have to have a sales navigator account that then says that they work at the company that you're trying to scrape. And so you really want to have some other kind of service do this because uh, you then that profile needs to say that they work at the company and then you can scrape all of the followers that way. So for the purposes of this, you got to go to another provider for that or another vendor. This is just gonna be able to get you the post. But anyway, so we have all of this data. You can get the person posts with pagination here and then the company posts with pagination. So you could just get all the posts and then you could get the post reactions, the post comments, everything about the post in these endpoints. And so what I would literally do 
is I just click on one of these. I, I wonder if it'll sign me in and show me show my API endpoint. So I'm not gonna click on any, but I would just click on one of these, get copy and paste the parameters, copy and paste the results into cursor. And then that's exactly what we did here was this is just the, the summary file of what cursor built for me. But I basically just asked it, hey, I'm gonna give you a list of LinkedIn profile URLs find the last 50 posts. Oh, uh, what did I do? The last 50 posts or something like that. And let's see, fetches up to 50 posts per person, extracts up to 200 likers per post. And uh, then it turned it all into a CSV file for me that then I had all the LinkedIn profile URLs of all these people. And then I used Clay to enrich them. You could use this endpoint to enrich them as well too, to make sure that they're actually right fits for you to reach out. And then you can hit those people. It's literally as easy as just explaining what you want cursor to build and then showing it the endpoints. And then it did it really, really, really well. So when you do this, like I said, don't say that you found them from LinkedIn. Just use the fact that the list that you just made is really, really nice. And then put your best foot forward with one of your other really good email campaigns. And it should be like shooting fish in a barrel, especially if you're scraping your own company's content. It'll work really, really well. This is like, this is one of the playbooks. I really don't like to put a guarantee on anything because marketing is just a fancy word for testing. But this is one of those playbooks that gets pretty dang close to a guarantee just because of how targeted this list is. And you can build it at scale. You can even run a cron job so that you could get all of the new posts uh, and build a database and say, okay, add, look for any new posts and then scrape those people. And then if there's new people from there, put them into a, a workflow as well so you can be getting new people. It works really, really well. So I hope this is opening up your mind for some other things that you can do. And uh, again, I feel like all of my videos today about Cursor, but I hope you can really jump in and enjoy it because it's it's a really great tool and gets this done really, really, really fast.